quantities can vary with one another in different ways. And that's what we're gonna talk about here, is all the different ways that they can vary with, um, with one another. So our first is y equals k times x. And the terminology that you're gonna see is that y varies directly as x. So sometimes they say directly as, sometimes they say directly with. Okay, directly with x, directly as x. So y varies directly as x. And that formula is y equals k times x. Another common variation is y varies inversely, inversely as x y varies inversely as x. And we write that y equals k over x. So that's what inverse variation looks like. y can vary jointly, so y varies jointly as x and z as x and z. So that means it's, it's varying not just with one quantity, but also with another quantity. So y varies jointly, y equals k times x times z. And then we have a combination. y varies directly, so varies directly with one quantity, so directly as x, and inversely as z, inversely as z. So these are just a few examples. y varies directly as x, but inversely as z. So that would be y equals k times x over z. Now, what's the same in all of these, and I'm gonna use a highlighter, and I'll probably go back and erase my highlighter. Y varies, Y equals. Y varies, Y equals. Y varies, Y equals. Y varies, Y equals. The other thing that is common to all of them is that they all have this constant K and the constant k is always in the numerator. So when there's a denominator, k is not in the denominator, k is always in the numerator. So I'm going to, um, I can keep that there, that's fine. k is called, k is called, it's a constant, kind of gave it away there. It's called the constant of variation. So k is the constant of variation and it is present in all of these formulas. So let's do an example. Suppose H varies directly with G. H varies directly with G. Well, H varies directly with G. Well, that's our formula. So we can write our formula down h varies means h equals and then we have k directly means I don't have a denominator it's just k times g so there's our formula so that's 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 a great thing right there now it gives us a certain set of circumstances so now it says when g is equal to 3 when g is equal to 3 and h is equal to 12 so now these are, these are specific circumstances, specific circumstances, specific values for this problem, for this problem. So we're gonna put those values in there. H equals 12, so 12 equals k times g is 3, so we're going to put a 3 there, and that tells us that k is equal to 4. So now we've found 
our constant for this problem. So we had a formula. We had some given values. We plugged those values in. We found the constant for this formula. And now we can rewrite. So now we can rewrite h equals 4 times g is our specific law for this problem. So now I can say h varies directly with g, and our constant of variation is a 4. And our last step says find h when g is 15. So now we can do that by saying h equals 4 times 15, h equals 60. And that's our final answer. So step one, here are our steps. Step one, we want to write the general formula. Step two, use specific or given values to find k. And then step three, write our specific law slash formula. And then step four, step four is to solve for a variable. So here was step one. Here's step two. Step three was our specific law. And then step four, we solved for our variable, find h when g is equal to 15. So we're gonna try a few more of these. Make sure you have all those steps written down because they're great steps to follow for all of these problems.